Hey guys, I'm Keith with Second Nature Overland, coming to you from beautiful Townsend, Tennessee for this year's Bronco Super Celebration East, the biggest Bronco event in America. I've heard there are over 1,000 Broncos here this year. It's a spectacular showcase from the first generation through the newest sixth generation. Stick around for Second Nature Overland's coverage of the event, including interviews with some of your favorite YouTubers. Everybody, I'm Dave with All Terrain Nation. Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, it doesn't matter what you drive on our channel. We uh, love these silly Broncos. We cover the industry as a whole. Uh, we like to off road, but we're also auto journalists. We'll be in Detroit in a few weeks for something really fun, so you're going to stay tuned to that. So, how are you liking Bronco Super Celebration East? Well, this is our third year at Supercell. Uh, each year it seems to triple in size. So, if you've never been here before, I challenge everybody, even if you don't have a Bronco, you just kind of like them. Come, come look at what they do, the first gens all the way through, the six gens like what we have. Um, it's a good place to at least get an idea of what is out there. Uh, order your Bronco. This place has been great there. Uh, Tom, the guy that runs this, he feels like a family member. I've, I've talked to Tom for three years now. He's always very kind. It's a very family atmosphere and I like this place a lot. Cool. Were you uh, Any plans to go off-roading at Winrock? Not this year. We're, we have a booth behind us. Our Bronco is uh, with Diabolical Inc. Uh, they put some uh, product in there and they wanted, uh, they wanted uh, a place to uh, showcase their product. So we uh, we give Alan the Bronco and said, here, do what you need to do with it. So unfortunately, I don't get to I don't get to off-road with everybody. Well, it looks pretty outstanding. I, I love what they did to it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Well, cool, man. Well, hey, we appreciate your time. And uh, take care. Yes, sir. Have a good one. All right. See ya. Hey guys, I'm here with John from Nashville Early Bronco. What's hey going on guys? So, we're here in beautiful Townsend, Tennessee, staying in front of my Bronco here. One of the recent things that I did to this was I put the Rhino rack on top and it's a great feature, a great upgrade to have. Uh, Rhino rack has a ton of uh, extra little things that you can get with it. My purpose was getting the spare tire up and out of the Bronco because the Bronco is pretty tight, pretty small. But a couple other things you can do with it, you can do solar panels with it that can charge your battery while it's just kind of sitting there. You can do, you know, you can run your Jackery from it or whatever you're running. Um, and you have a lot of options to be able to get stuff up and out of the vehicle instead of being inside the vehicle where you might be sleeping or where you might be staying. The other thing is that thing is beefy and it can hold a rooftop tent and it can hold uh, a lot of weight. So definitely a cool feature of the Bronco, but yeah, we're here in Supercell, uh, Townsend, Tennessee. This is a beautiful event and uh, 
definitely one that you should check out if you're a Bronco fan uh, and definitely if you want any Bronco accessories and stuff like that there's a lot of cool companies around here so, awesome well yeah. hey, I'm a fan of, of your channel uh, could you tell us a little bit about Nashville early Bronco yeah definitely so I do how-to videos for the weekend mechanic and provide some Bronco entertainment for the Bronco community so I just kind of you know like anything that I'm doing to my Bronco I film it I edit it I post it up on YouTube and then when I'm at events like this I film them and edit uh, recap videos and stuff like that my my full-time job is actually video production so uh -huh. that's kind of how I got into all this was was doing full uh, video production and I was like man no one's really doing stuff for the Bronco this was in 2000 and 13 and uh, so I started doing stuff for the Bronco and it's just kind of turned into a fun little hobby that I get to come out to cool events and uh, meet neat people. Well it's awesome man well hey we appreciate your time on the channel and hope you have a great rest of the event. Thank you. Awesome. I'm here at Wild Horses Off-Road with Mitch Creel. Howdy, howdy, guys. Well, so I'm with Wild Horses 4x4. We've been doing the early Broncos for over 30 years. Obviously, we have to get into the new stuff. And what brings us out here is the fact that there are 1,200 plus Broncos showing up at one spot. And being a Bronco enthusiast for that long, how can you not come out to something like this? So we've been coming out for the past, I want to say, six to eight years, making the trek all the way from California and uh, having a blast every time, so. That's awesome, well, it's a beautiful country over here. Yes, it is. Uh, so, did you uh, go off-roading at Windrock? So, I didn't get to make that trip, but I did put a dent in this thing last weekend uh -oh. uh, when I was out at the Texas Lone Star Early Bronco event. So, I busted a tail, I put a dent in the door. And if you can't tell, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's quite a bit of dirt on this. I do use this thing, uh, use and abuse, and uh, unfortunately, I pay the price every now and again, so. Well, that's what they're built for, right? Yes, sir. Well, cool. Well, hey, we appreciate your time, and thanks for coming. Of course, Keith. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Um, I uh, found Tim's channel to be an excellent resource when I was waiting for my Bronco to be built uh, for the last two years. Uh, you know, you're kind of wondering like what's going on and, and why is it taking so long and what are the constraints and things like that. And Tim's like been putting out information regularly on the channel and you know, I really appreciate it. I'm sure a lot of my viewers also appreciate that. So thank you so much for doing that. No problem, no problem, I enjoy it. All right, and uh, just uh, how are you liking out here? I like it, yep, and a lot of, I mean, a lot of cool Broncos. Everybody's, it's cool to see how everybody's customized their Broncos and uh, to see that and the ideas combined. Awesome, okay. Well, hey, Tim, thank you for your time. Yeah. I'm here with Dwayne and Gavin from uh, Driven Wild Outdoors. Hey guys. Hey, what's going on? That's, thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah. See, we're out doing the same thing today. So uh, what brings you out here to Bronco Super Celebration East? Third year, first year we drove our Explorer here because we had two Broncos on order 
The second year, last year, we drove our two Broncos that we had ordered, our Area 51, uh, 21 Badlands, and then the Eruption Green 22 Badlands Hardtop. So, I think our beers are going to love that one since it's the same color as the one that I've got. Except this one's a little cleaner. Right it now, is a little. Actually, used it is a little cleaner. Yeah. So yeah, we're we have fun. You know, Tom and the crew that uh, run this, and since 2006, and it's just grown and grown and grown. It's changed locations, and it just gets better. Uh, it's, it's it was good my first year three years ago, and there's people who's been coming since day one, 2006. So it's a great mm -hmm. event. So this is my first time here, but I've heard that there's a whole lot more six gens here this year. Is that is that yes. true? So the six gens, you can see it. Last year there was a you know quite a few of them. This year I don't know what the number officially is, but if I had to guess, twice as many maybe mm -hmm. uh, or more. Um, and the modifications. Last year you saw a few more that were you know built by Ford and people mm -hmm. haven't yet modified. There was some modifications this year. I think I have the only one that's not modified in some way so next year i gotta tighten up awesome hey gavin what's your favorite part of the show probably uh seeing what people have done to their give yeah. us ideas like uh light bars what type of light bars and, uh, that's awesome maybe. cool well uh we appreciate your time and absolutely. thanks for joining us on the channel hey absolutely thank thanks, you Dwayne. appreciate it thanks See gavin you. hey don't forget hit like yes. hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel it's awesome thank you the Bronco Super Celebration experience includes scenic, on-road, and off-road group runs. Let's jump to Windrock Park for a few minutes to talk to two of our friends joining us on that off-road run. Here at Windrock with Chase Gentry. What's up, Internet? How are you guys doing today? We're out here uh, at the, Super uh, Celebration East Tennessee. Like you said, we're here at oh, Windrock. I, yeah, I've never that. been here before. Uh, first time. First time to this area. First time for both of us. Uh, I've heard that there is some mild yeah, stuff so and some cool. extremely challenging ah, stuff. So uh, I'm one of the Bronco ambassadors. Are you so serious? To help represent the brand. I'm going to push wow, this through to do some absolute limits. Maybe past that. A couple of uh, buddies here uncovering their winches, so we might be winching today. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're just going to go have some fun. We're going to drive over everything we can see in front of us. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Of course, man. Be sure to check out our separate Windrock Park group runs video from this year's event. I'll put a link up above once it drops. Hey Mitchell, tell us about yourself. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for having us. Yeah, uh, so I'm six foot three. <laughs> I was going to ask. <laughs> Most people claim that I'm six foot three, but yeah, um, I'm a Bronco enthusiast. My very first vehicle was a uh, 1995 Ford Bronco that I'm blessed enough to say I still have it. Um, and when they came out with a new body style Bronco, um, it wasn't a job for me, even though I work for a Ford dealership and we customize vehicles and all that kind of stuff. Um, it was more or less a hobby for me, which is why I'm at the Bronco Super Celebration and off-roading in Windrock today. But yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. Um, the Bronco has been a whirlwind for everybody. It's either been a crazy high story or crazy low story. and. Um, it, it's really been a roller coaster, and what I realized a long time ago is the only people that get hurt on a roller coaster are the ones that jump off in the middle of the ride. So it's been a fun ride so far. Well, it's a perfect day for a ride. It is, absolutely. Well, hey. Yeah, uh, TC Customs, uh, that's uh, the company that, that I work with, and uh, we customize all kinds of Broncos, F 150s, uh, Super Duties. We even do other manufacturers, but Ford is our bread and butter. So it's been a lot of good, a lot of fun for us. Where are you located? We're located in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, we've got two locations, one in Bessemer and one in Pell City, uh, but we actually uh, sell parts nationwide. Okay, and uh, your website? It's tccustom.com. Perfect. Awesome. Well, hey, we appreciate your time, and have a great day. Absolutely. Thank you. See our scenic driving through the Smoky Mountains video. I'll put a link up above once it drops. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is this for jerry cans? Uh, no, this is a door hanger. So this is our two-door version. Okay. Uh huh. Mounts on the oh, wall. Okay. Right? Obviously, that one's on our display rack, but you, it comes with these brackets, or it will, because this is actually uh, still in development. Okay. But 16 inches on center. Mount this to the wall. Mount the rack to your 
angled pieces, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you're not using it, ah. that one also folds down, right? So they uh -huh. fold down, so now you've got more room, and then when you need to use it, you drop it down, you stick your front doors on, you stick your rear doors on, now you don't have to lay them on the garage floor, worry about them falling over, getting dented. That's awesome. Yeah, you can put bags on them like you see, so you know you can keep them in the garage, and if somebody rubs up against it, it's not gonna scratch it. That's very cool. And you can use the two-door version for four doors as well. Mm -hmm. So like if you don't have this much depth in your garage, uh -huh. you can do two two-door versions, stack them on top of each other, or if you got a long garage, you can do them long ways and do them that way. That's awesome. When do you expect this to come out, the four-door? Um, probably a couple months, if I had to guess. We're, we're about done with prototyping. Uh -huh. We just need to produce them now. Hey guys, this is Second Nature Overland at the Bronco Nation Corral at Bronco Super Celebration East 2023. If you enjoyed this video and content, please like and subscribe. And for notifications, click that bell. Thanks for watching.